So in my last video, I got arrested. And from reading all your guys' comments, it seems like you guys have a lot of things to say about me and a lot of questions. Here's all the reasons why I did what I did and why I did it. I also learned my lesson from this. I will always obey a lawful order from now on. Just let this be a learning lesson for all you guys. And this is what it was like in jail. So I, I have to pop my head out. Okay, so Corey's in jail. They took his car. Hannah's on her way. She's gonna meet me there. We're gonna go pick him up. I'm just jaywalking like casually. And then, then we're gonna go get him. So that's that's the plan. I can't believe they just arrested my best friend. Took his $100,000 car and now I don't know how the we're gonna get it back. This is gonna be a I don't think Corey's ever been arrested either. This is gonna be on his record. It's kind of crazy. Hey there. How you doing? Hey, I was wondering um, when uh, someone's gonna get released and if he has a bail or anything. So that phone right there, dial 2499 and we'll take you to jail. Okay, thank you. Hey Glenn, I'm trying to find out when someone's gonna be released and if they have a bail. Corey Funk. Evading, interesting. Okay, um, you should, when, when should you think I should call back? Okay, I'll call back in like 30 minutes to find out. Thank you, Glenn. Okay, so I just called on the phone and the cop said he's being booked on a misdemeanor hit and run. And I was like, wait, what? And then he said, oh, evading was just <laughs> what it is. Uh, and then not following a, a lawful order, which that's what he did threaten him with. Um, so yeah, this is gonna be interesting. I'm gonna call Hannah, let her know what's going on, then we'll, we'll go from there. Hey Glenn, this is, uh, I'm, I'm calling on Corey Funk again just to see if there's an update. Thank you, he's being live scanned right now and processed. We're gonna submit his fingerprints to DOJ. Once we get a response from that, as long as he doesn't have any wants or warrants, he'll be cited out. Okay, so there's no gonna, not gonna be a bail, it's just gonna be a citation? Yeah, it'll just be a citation and he'll have to deal with the courts and uh, getting his car inspected and all that. Okay, yeah, it's just because it's an out-of-state vehicle. That's why I was curious. The return time from DOJ right now is, is a couple hours, so... Okay, so, but a after he gets fingerprints submitted and everything, he'll be cited out? Yeah, once, once he's cleared DOJ and we we determine he's not wanted for murder or anything like that across the across the country, he'll be cited out, yes. Okay, thank you. You're welcome, sir. Okay. Okay, so you said we have to wait to hear back from DOJ. So that could be a couple hours. So stupid, man. Well, the cops said that he's going to be released from here at the sheriff's station. He said they're taking his fingerprints. After they take them, then they can submit them. So I don't even know if he's got his phone call yet, and I don't know who he's going to call. It's going to be interesting. And we're going to have to fight to get his car back. And, uh, so, so yeah, this sucks so much. So, like, what's going on with the car? The car is going to get impounded, he said, and then we have to wait for the California Air Research Board to look over it. And I told him that, but it's an out-of-state car, so, and he's like, well, they still have to check it or something, so we won't know on that yet. We've been here for like three hours, or this whole ordeal has been like a three-hour thing. Hannah's going to try to call his phone just, just to see what happens. <laughs> he like answers in the desk. Right? <laughs> it's like he's joking. <laughs> I wonder what he, what he could be doing. Hi there, my boyfriend Corey Funk is with you guys, and I'm just checking on um, when he's going to be out because it's been forever. 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 Really? It was forever when he needed help. I hope not. Forever's a mighty long time. I know, but I need to come save him. I'm scared. Well, he has not cleared the DOJ process. So he's in the backgrounds for wants and warrants. Once he clears that, he'll be eligible for release. Okay. Do you have an estimate for me? I don't. And how long it takes DOJ to respond? No, you're fine. Okay. Can we come hang out over there? I'm sorry? Can we come hang out over there? Yeah, no, I don't think so. <laughs> Damn. So Robbie said they can hold him up to 24 hours for any reason they want to, legally. They can hold him for that long. Hey. Hey, how's your bad boy? Uh, he's in jail. <laughs> <laughs> My dad called me and said, what's going on with Corey? So, yeah. yeah. It's supposed to be a surprise. 
No, I'm like, I don't know what to do because, like, when I got here, they were like, yeah, we don't know when he's going to be released. And I was like, uh, okay. I just drove an hour, 20 minutes, but... Oh, no. I mean, at least you're the best girlfriend ever. I'm trying to just get him out of jail. It's like, you know... <laughs> I always was into bad boys, but I didn't expect Corey, like, to really get to that level. <laughs> this is so surreal. I feel like it's, like not not real you know like you're you're in jail dude i know it's so weird you mad at me no not at all i would do anything for you thank you how are you where are you are you done uh no okay what's going on i'm inside i have a payphone that i'm using oh that's so cute very loudly And take my shoes what? You didn't take your laces out of your shoes. Can I keep that, by chance? Nope. Oh, okay. You can keep that citation though. Oh yeah. Alright, when you uh you get yourself all squared away, when you hear the door pop, you're good to go. Alright. Okay. Out that door and out through the black gate. Okay. Alright? Thank you. Don't miss your target. Well, I'm leaving now. I've been in here for about five hours. I just got out of what is called jail, and uh, I need to learn what my rights are. Is that it? That is one of my favorite scenes right there. It's parked out. What the f bro? Guys, from going through this experience, I've got a lot of things to say. Holy you don't ever want to be in a cell. You don't ever want to be in a cell like that. That was horrible. Hey, baby. Hey, I'm, I'm out. Oh, we just went to the tow lot. We're coming. We're coming back. I'll be there in five minutes. Let me start off with what I thought I knew. I've watched several videos of DDE, my buddy Alex, people online of getting pulled over by police officers and them wanting to pop the hood of their car without a, a search warrant or without, with, this is what I thought, without like, you know, actual probable cause, right? Which I was driving my car and the only thing I did wrong was holding my phone and they started going after other things uh, and I thought that they weren't allowed to do that. So I called one of my buddies that actually gets pulled over like every week, has a ticket lawyer, goes through this all the time. And he said that they're not allowed to do that. As you heard, the cops said differently. Uh, my buddy called his stepdad, which is a lawyer and said the same thing. So I have two people now telling me that it is fine that I deny the officers of certain me and so that's what I thought but that was wrong so whatever a cop tells you to do obey by it and this is something I know to obey by the thing is is I know cops need to I want to say this right because it matters a lot what I say my uncle's a cop and I respect the hell out of them I respect all officers you always need to obey by the cops but I always thought that the cops would always push you in a direction of where they would want you to go. That's what I thought they were doing. I thought they were pushing me in a direction of what they wanted me to do. I thought they were bluffing on arresting me. I knew that they would tow my car and that's what my buddy Alex told me to do. He said, yes, let's just let them tow your car. And I said, okay. I told them no again. And then they put me in handcuffs and I thought this was part of the bluffing technique and that's, that's, that's what happened. So that's absolutely insane. What a like experience that shit was and now my girlfriend's here with my best friend and i feel like she hates me now let's go get our boy <laughs> there he is oh my god is that cory funk literally right outside of the station oh cory so weird how does it feel to be out of jail shut up oh. it feels weird dude we missed you bro <laughs> oh Dude, give me a hug, bro. What a weird experience, dude. I know that was that was that was messed up. Huh? That that, that was messed up. What does your what does your ticket say? Here, I'll show you. Well, let's go sit down. Who's <laughs> cold? Sorry. The first person I want to call is Alex Toy. I'm like, yo, I got arrested and I was in jail for the phone call. Hey, so they arrested me and they impounded my car. I was in jail for like six hours, seven hours. Wait, what? Yeah, they arrested me because disobeying a law law order. A lawful order is what I is what they put down. 
or what order did you disobey? Having me pop my hood to show like emissions or whatever. So you were in jail for six f hours? Yeah, so from when I called you. You'll get the dismissed so easily. We got you lunch but Hannah ate it. Bet <laughs> you did. I love you. So what did you eat in there again? Uh, like bad. It was like bad food. One thing I was most afraid of, that's why I got my car registered in Arizona. I like don't break the laws, you know? Mm -hmm. Like I was looking at my phone to make sure we were going the right way. Absolutely. Like, that's what I told him. I was like, well, I hope you know that like we were on the way to the track because he drives responsibly. He doesn't do illegal street racing or anything. He waits to do it safely, you know? And then he was asking me questions like, how fast does it go? And I'm like, I'm not telling you. He's like, well, it's just, I can't give you a ticket for that. I'm like, no, I'm not going to tell you. He's like, what kind of engine is this? I'm like, I'm not going to tell you. He's like, is that the exhaust out of the hood? I was like, no. I was like, if this was a different situation, I would tell you everything you want to know about that car but not right now i'm not gonna tell you yeah no, thank you so much all right let's go i want to not be in this parking lot okay. at all please <laughs> but the crazy thing is like you're in like a brick room with no windows so we have and there's no clock so we have no idea uh, no idea what time it is and you can't see it's daytime or nighttime outside how much time did you think past like i felt there? like i was in there for like three to four hours but then i i took a nap because like i needed to but like i just i Dude, I was so bored out of my mind. It was crazy. Like, was I didn't know it, what was to do. Was it super quiet you in there? No phone. You know, there's 13 and a half bricks. I can count them. I wonder how high where they were. It's 100 and it's 138 inches, I believe, all the way to the top of the roof. I did all the math just to figure it out. <laughs> like, I was that bored. And it, like, it sucks that the cop didn't even acknowledge. Like, I pulled over off the freeway, off the street, you know, into a place Absolutely. where they couldn't get hit. You know, I made sure that it was a safe place for them. I also was trying to work with them that, like, they pulled me over for being on my phone, so that's why I was talking to them about being on my phone. Oh, wait, they, hold on. Did you want to go to the impound yard and try to see your car? Oh, Maybe. Shit. Yeah, why? Let me type it in. That's fine. I got the Why? Is it, do you see it? We, we, we drove we, back. You we said come literally back. only got there for like one second. Okay, pull over. Yeah, yeah, okay, we're gonna go look for my car. This is another thing that made it weird for me. They didn't give, the, the two options they gave me was that, that either one, I pop my hood, or two, they take me to jail, or two, they impound my car. So they gave me two second options of me going to jail or me getting my car impounded, but they didn't say, you're gonna get your car impounded and then we'll just pop your hood then. They just gave me the option of you pop your hood now or we're taking you to jail and we're <laughs> impounding your car. I was like, okay, so they just don't yeah. get to see under my hood and they impound my car. They put me in handcuffs in the car and then they pop my hood. I'm like, are you allowed to touch my property? Is there a probable cause that you're allowed to do this? Like all cars have modified exhaust. It doesn't mean you get to pop the hood of the car, you know? So that's what made it so questionable for me is that they didn't give me an option that they were gonna do that. If they were gonna do that anyways, I would have just been like, all right. So what I'm seeing on the back of the ticket, normally that's where you find the correct spot so if there's a ticket that says like tint you could just bring it in have it signed off and then when you go to court they dismiss it yeah. they X through it and they put state referee certification required no officer sign off a uh, vehicle must be removed from the roadway immediately and not driven till until in compliance okay. so I don't even know if they're gonna let it be released or if we have to do this first What's going on, man? Hey, my car got towed and we were just trying to, we were wondering like where it was at and if it's, if it's here. It was a Nissan 240SX. Could I look through the fence to see if it's there? Yeah, I see it right there too. At least we found it, we know where it's at. Hey, hey, we know where it's parked, that way we could tell if it gets moved. As of now, the car is towed and impounded inside of an impound lot. I'm going to be calling my lawyer in the next couple hours to find out everything that's gonna be going on, and I really hope that this situation just goes away. But the three things on this ticket that I got wrote up for was disobeying a law order, driving with a handheld device, and modified emissions, which they don't know if I have modified emissions. All they saw that I had an exhaust on, so then off of that, they were able to pop my hood. I want this to be a learning lesson for everyone that's watching this. Know your rights, know if you have something that you're not supposed to have in a specific area like California because my car is registered in Arizona know the laws of that state or just know what a lawful order is because that's what I got taken to jail for I got taken to jail for disobeying a lawful order but what I thought they were doing was a tactic to pop my hood for something that wasn't really in their rights because I was in a different state but I was wrong I was wrong wrong completely I don't know 
anything in this situation. I just want you guys to learn from it and I'm sharing this video because I feel you guys should know to not do this if you're ever gonna get into cars or if you do something illegal and an officer tells you a lawful order that you gotta obey it. But I should have taken it more seriously when I had like four cops around me and, and I had, the, I think it was a lieutenant that was there. The majority of every single one was being re very respectful. The guy that pulled me over was very by the book and it's, a, it's, it's not a bad thing. I mean, it's a good thing, but like also, it's like, come on. I wasn't doing anything. Look up my Instagram. I don't do illegal street racing and sideshows, and I don't feel I'm an endanger to the public with that type of stuff, you know? Like, there's so many people that you just go on their Instagrams and they're just doing sideshows and burnouts and running away from cops, and it's just, I'm not that type of person that would run away from a cop and do sideshows or street race someone, you know? Maybe a little pull, just to, just a little on the freeway but not like a 30 people, you know, go to an intersection, stop, full stop, block traffic and try to street race. That's just not what I would do.